So I think I'm going to do one more panel. And I'm going to do the balloon smash because that color combination was so pretty. So I'm just going to add white. Wipe off my dirty fingerprints where my gloves were wet. I'm going to smash it around with my fingers. And then just pour. This does not have silicone in it. I'm going to leave it right like that. I'm not going to do anything else. I don't think. <laughs> okay, one more smash maybe right here with some dark blue. Okay. I'm going to leave that. Just really quick and simple. So there it is. I could and I could heat it. I don't think anything much is going to happen because there shouldn't be cells really. It just brings out little dots, little cells. I do want to see something. Let me just do this and see what happens. Just going to go through and squiggle. I was interested to see how that would look. I'm not really feeling it. So since I don't like that, and I'm not going to smash it with the balloon, I want to do something just to make it a pretty background and then I can do some artwork on top of it. I don't like, I don't like splatters that go across. That to me is not pretty. Okay. I'm just going to use my scraper and do half of the canvas. So this just turned out to be a background. 
and I can put something on top of it that's artistic like a pretty flower that looks real or a bird on a branch or a fish in the water or something. I'll just use this as a background for something else later on since I didn't get it exactly. I should have just left the balloon smash but I'm always looking for backgrounds to put artwork on anyway. You can always print something out that you see and decoupage it on. You could do a silhouette, paint a silhouette over it. You can still do very artistic things even if you don't do realistic painting. You can get creative with what you put over it. So I'm going to move this off. There's the close-up of just the neutral background. I could even, I tell you what, what would be really pretty is the blue now. Let me add a, a bit of water because it's on the thicker side. So I'm going to add a little water. I just came up with this idea just now. So it's thinner now. And I'm going to do that with the purple. Make it a little thinner. I'm going to add OGX, which is in my dropper here. One drop, one drop. That's all you ever add to any cup of paint. It doesn't matter if it's two ounces or eight ounces. Just one drop of OGX is all you need. So I'm going to do a layer of purple and a layer of this deep blue right here on the edge and just do a good old-fashioned swipe. This will be even better as a background because it'll have those beautiful cells that pop. And because the color underneath is fairly neutral, it's not going to be a really bold pop of cells. It's just going to be very soft and subtle. I'm going to let it sit for a few minutes. And then I'll stretch it down that way to get some of the, the weight of the paint down here. Okay, I'm going to tilt and it's not very wet so it may not really shift much. I'm wiggling it a little bit to help it shift. I'm going to take my finger and help it move down. over the edges a bit. Sometimes you have to help things if they don't want to move. You help them a little bit. There's a thin spot. Oh, that was lighter paint there. Get the deeper blue and put that back on top. So yeah, that went over the edge and now now it's this pretty purpley, turquoisey blue. I could even let it keep shifting. But because the weight of the paint is not real heavy, it's not going to shift a lot, but it may shift a little bit. So I'm just wiggling because it is thinner. There's not a lot of weight of the paint. See, I could even drip a little purple here and there. Take my straw. Now, 
drip a little of the deeper blue. Just slightly drag my paper towel through in areas. So that almost looks like something's growing at the bottom. A cool background. And then this will be beautiful for something to be painted over. It'll be begging for something to be painted over. So I'm going to leave it as is. I'm not going to mess with it anymore. I'm sure you've told me multiple times while you're watching this video, leave it alone, leave it alone. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. Click on the links below. You can always see me fooling around with paint and playing with it. I don't, I'm never scared of playing with my canvas or playing with the paint on the canvas. There's no reason in being scared because you can always go over it if you don't care for it. Like there's that one big cell right there that's light. You can almost make things look like fireflies or things that are flying in the background at night or whatever. So don't be afraid to play with what's on your canvas because that's your learning experience to make it beautiful the next time. So I'm going to drag some of this deeper color up. You can even do some squiggles with your skewer. I'll leave it with as as it is. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye bye.